Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Friday the 25th, and today was a lovely day outside, a little cold to start off with, but overall the day turned out to be nice, I think I got up in like the high 40s, something like that, um, got up this morning, I didn't sleep real great, my shoulder's been, caused me not to sleep the most wonderful, so definitely um, doing the best I can with it, but it's coming along slowly, so we'll see, it'll get around eventually, it's just taking a while, and part of it's come overdoing shit, um, I need to just really just tape my arm down and let it be for a few days and I'm not able to do that mentally, it drives me crazy. So, went ahead, got up, got a bunch of stuff done, um, paperwork and just some, I don't know, tax information, all kind of crap, doing that kind of stuff, it's ridiculous. Um, fun, fun stuff there, it just has to be done though. So, I also from there, um, had a handful of things, watched some videos, posted some stuff on YouTube, all that crap, I've got a bunch of things on my phone, my iPad, that I'm posting up slowly because I don't want to put up like 30 videos in one day, that would be annoying to everybody out there who follows my channel. So um, just adding up a couple, um, two or three a day at most, and kind of letting it chill out that way at a slower pace. Um, also, I got a handful of stuff done, did some laundry, did some dishes, just general life things that goes down. Um, also, with it from there to um, pick up my van. Um, it was It's in the shop getting the air conditioning fixed on it. The guy's had it for a week now. And um, decided I wanted to get it cleaned out. Still had a bunch of stuff in there. Still had the totes full of stuff. Had dirty clothes. Had clean clothes. Had a whole bunch of stuff in there. So I thought he'd have it for the afternoon and I would get the van back. Didn't realize he was going to have it for a week. So went down there, picked it up, um, dropped the truck off. Went Actually went to the gym, got changed, went for my run. Stuff came back here. Uh, went ahead and got the van all cleaned out. Um, vacuumed it, got it all cleaned up. It's not perfect. I didn't armor all it or anything like that, but I got the um, all the big pieces figured out, all the stuff in the house, and then headed back over, um, dropped the van off, picked up the truck after getting it all cleaned up and that. On the way back, I saw a um, shop that I had some my um, woodworking in there that was on consignment from last year, and they had... Um, I don't know, they were apparently not open during the winter. I didn't realize that was going to be the case. And after my fire, I tried to find them. They were never there, so I couldn't even get my stuff back. Um, I would have given stuff away as Christmas gifts and that, and probably would have sold it through other shops had it been, had I gotten it back, and I didn't. So luckily, they were there today. I uh, went ahead and loaded up all my stuff. Um, the shop decided they wanted to buy one of my tables. And they're like, is that for sale? And I'm like, well, clearly it's fucking for sale. That's why it's all been here this time. It wasn't just showing off stuff like a museum, but... Went ahead and it was funny because I think I had them like on a 35% um, commission. So they only had, they got to keep 35% of whatever they sold of my stuff and he paid me full retail on it, which I was fine with. I think there's a handful of things they sold I did not get paid on. So it all kind of washes out in the long run. I was like, oh well, fuck it. I just, I want my shit back. I'm happy to have it out of there. And I've now got the stuff and it's ready to do whatever I want to do with. So it's one of those things I was just, I don't know, had that weird feeling there. Literally, they can see my, um, they can see my. They could see where my shop used to sit um, from their business, and they didn't even come down once and check and say, "Hey, how you doing? Um, saw your fire. Hope you're all right." Blah blah. Didn't say nothing. So I kind of lost some hope and some faith in them, and said to hell with it. So I was cordial. I was nice to the guy. I didn't call him out on stuff. I gave him some advice for his business that he's in the process of opening up. Um, gave him some very good advice that I'm hoping he'll take. But if you don't, not my problem. So definitely um, got that figured out and whatnot. So I got back home, um, had a friend of mine who's going through a bunch of shit, and she had a bunch of shit dumped on her again. Um, just an ass hat, acting like an ass hat. And definitely um, that was bad. So it's one of those things that I've been instructed not to interfere, basically just to let things play out and see how it goes. And that's what I'm doing. I'm sitting here biding my time, and it's absolutely killing me not to... Um, I guess do anything about it and it really is it's <clears throat> an amazing um amazing test of my willpower to be able to allow this to continue on and not do anything about it so it's definitely um drawing out my ability to control myself and it's really um taking a lot out of me to do that so but we'll see um tomorrow's another day and we'll see if I keep my streak or not of behaving i guess when it comes to the ass hat so anyway that's all i got for right now i will talk to you guys tomorrow have yourself a safe and wonderful day thanks for watching